We're coming up to National Non-Smoking Week. It's the time you've probably made resolutions at the beginning of the year and often you've tried and things are not going as well. So uh, this week you can focus on uh, what are the lessons learned from trying and what needs to be modified in the plan to make it successful. We make a lot of suggestions of what people can do to make quitting easier. Some people can just stop. They make their mind up and they just stop and they write it out. And if that, you're that kind of smoker, then go for it. What's holding you back? The second is, for some people who might be hesitant, is to make a plan. Set a date by which you want to start trying. The first step is to make it a conscious act. So start writing it down. Every cigarette, make it a conscious decision. And make your home, work, and, and vehicle smoke-free. Automatically, you start realizing that not every cigarette is necessary. So it helps you start cutting down very painlessly. Then clearly looking at the people, places, and things that make you want to smoke. Uh, having a plan of what you're going to do when you're stressed, having a plan what you're going to do when you're entertaining or going out and having fun with friends. Like what you're going to do, how you're going to think about it, and how you're going to feel about it. So pick a point and even if you start off with just reducing one and just looking at making your place smoke free. I think often most people that is an achievable outcome. What we find is very helpful, which doubles the odds of success, is actually getting professional help. So this is a great time to take steps, whether you're going to start, whether you've started and you're having some difficulty, or you have to just keep going and keep that resolve to stay non-smoking. <music>